Hey guys, what's up? It's Bert. Um, you know, I was just sitting here enjoying a gorgeous Sunday afternoon, thinking about how yesterday the Senate passed the $1.9 trillion stimulus bill and what that's going to mean to so many Americans. For one, it's going to put about $1,400 into the pockets of many people, and that's going to mean food on the table for some, or a car payment, or even a mortgage, or a rent payment. Yet, for some, it's going straight into savings. But for others, it means a new sofa, or a 75-inch LCD TV, a shiny new stainless steel stove, or a Walmart spending spree. The thing is, when it's gone, it's gone. People look at money in many different ways. For a lot of people, they treat it as if they, if they don't spend it, somehow it loses that ability to satisfy the feeling that they get when they buy something. Still, there are those that actually value and respect money as a tool. A tool that if strategically put to work, can create even more money. You know, for the last 16 years, my team and I have worked with thousands of people to help them to create fun and rewarding and profitable part-time and even full-time businesses in the travel industry. Helping people to plan and book vacations to amazing tropical sunny destinations for their family and their friends, co-workers, neighbors, and even for total strangers. Now don't get me wrong, this past year, well, it's been tough for the travel industry. But all that has really started to shift. In fact, we're starting to see a boom and people wanted to get back out there and to travel again. Here's the problem. Like a lot of segments of our economy, we've seen travel agents leave the industry, which has left a huge vacuum. Vacuum, Just when would-be travelers need them most, there are far fewer travel professionals to help them. To help them navigate all kinds of things like new travel guidelines and travel insurances and cancellation and rebooking processes. But here's the good news. It's created a huge supply and demand opportunity for our travel agents that have hung in there and used the past year to hone their skills. See, anxious travelers looking to book their next vacation, well, there are fewer travel agents, which means our travel agents, well, they're already struggling to keep up with the quoting and the booking of their existing clients. So here's my point. Instead of blowing your stimulus money at Amazon, consider investing in yourself. Investing in a business that has the opportunity to create ongoing weekly stimulus checks that don't run out. So in the coming weeks, as people use their checks to book that long overdue vacation, you can get your share of this new travel boom. Hey, click on the link in the description above, above or below this video to learn more. We're looking forward to having you on our winning team of Lexiva Vacations Travel Specialists. Thanks for watching.